So we're really going to talk about kind of new patient KPI growth, existing patients, and how to make sure that we're keeping them in the door. And then the technology that enables that so that we don't have to have as much team members doing a lot of manual work in order to ensure that that happens. But reality is, is I really do think that this is going to be a key piece of things that change our industry a lot is that we're not going to be so reliant on the human being aspect. We still want those relationships and to be able to connect with them, but it will be a lot of this will be automated for sure. They're being inundated with so many different new technologies and so many options within these new technologies that they just don't have time to really look into it in order to figure out, hey, is this going to be beneficial for my company? Welcome to another episode of Dental Marketing Go. I'm your host, Gary Bird. I'm the founder of SMC National, where we help you create, convert, and close more new patients so you can grow the way that you want. And we are excited because we have the Dental Marketing Manager Bootcamp coming up. And even more special is I have my friend, Tanner Applegate, and my co-host on another podcast, Dental Rift, here today because he is going to be speaking on the tech stack and the tech stack you need for marketing. And he's going to be covering three topics that I think are going to be crucial around tech. Number one is going to be KPIs around marketing. Number two is patient engagement. And number three, everybody's favorite, our favorite is AI. So Tanner, thank you so much for hosting this panel. And could you just give us a quick breakdown what you're looking forward to speaking in front of everybody at this boot camp? Yeah, for sure. No, I'm really excited about this boot camp. I was able to go to the one that you threw last year, Gary. And I've been to a handful of marketing events in the industry. And this is one that stood out to me. So I'm excited to go to it for round two. And also, I'm really excited to be able to participate in it. So thank you. But one of the things that I think that as I was listening to the content last year, kind of what does this audience need? One of the first things that came to my mind was like the data behind it, right? Marketing can easily become very much a like a feeling type of approach, right? Like I love the branding. I love these colors. I love the design of this, et cetera. But the reality is like marketing is there for results, right? Like what does the patient flow look like within the office? So as far as things that we're going to discuss, we're really going to go into like the KPIs, not just like what does new patient growth look like? Because I think we get so caught up in like, hey, we just need new patients, new patients, new patients. But also like, hey, if there's a patient that's coming in the front door and leaving right out the back door, that's a lost opportunity for your office too. All right, so we're really going to talk about kind of new patient KPI growth, existing patients, and how to make sure that we're keeping them in the door. And then the technology that enables that so that we don't have to have as much team members doing a lot of manual work in order to ensure that that happens. Yeah, I love that. I love all those topics. And the thing I love most, Tanner, is that there's really, and you're spearheading this for sure, there's really starting to be a conversation, not just around like, hey, you should do this, but what technology you need to use to do this. And that's a big shift in the dental industry, isn't it? Somebody the other day asked me kind of, what do I view AI, but also just kind of technology in general? How do I view this shifting the dental industry? And honestly, if I were to guess, I would say in five to 10 years, that front desk position is really going to be 95 to 100% replaced by technology. So they're starting, we're not there yet, right? There's starting to be a lot of technologies now that enable that. But reality is, is I really do think that this is going to be a key piece of things that change our industry a lot is that we're not going to be so reliant on the human being aspect. We still want those relationships and to be able to connect with them, but it will be a lot of this will be automated for sure. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but I got a new segment that I wanted to share with you. It's called Ask Gary. And what we're doing is we're going over questions that you have about marketing and answering them in our podcast. So if you want to reach out to us and get your questions answered and maybe even get on the podcast to have it answered live, all you have to do is DM us, leave a comment, or email us at askgary at smcnational.com. Again, that's askgary at smcnational.com. Our most recent question came in from Kristen, and her question was this. What's the single best way to generate leads and new patients? This is a great question, and I'm going to break this down for you in under a minute. So first thing that you want to understand is, do you want quality or do you want quantity? The easiest way to get quality is through patient referrals. The downside to that, though, is that you can't generate a lot of them, meaning if you need an extra 40 or 50 new patients next month, you're not going to be able to do that through generating patient referrals. On the flip side, if you want quantity, then digital is definitely the way to go and you can measure the whole thing and it's the easiest to get a bunch of new patients, but it does take a little bit of time to dial in the quality. And what I mean by that is, is that these patients don't trust you like a patient referral. A patient referral already trusts you because somebody else did 
the selling for you. One of your happy customers told them how great you are. So that is today's episode of Ask Gary. Contact us, reach out to us, and we will answer your questions. And again, we might even get you on the podcast and back to the episode. Enjoy. Yeah, and that scares some people. People are like, oh no, they're coming for our jobs. But that's probably not going to happen right away. I think that's probably going to give people the opportunity to be better at their jobs and better at treating patients. Do you agree with that? Or are you kind of worried that uh, uh, offices sure. are going to be fully automated? No. How many times are we sitting there dealing with like insurance carriers because we're fighting some claim or something where we could be really giving a lot more personal attention to these people that are right in front of us that are needing these patient cares, but we're not able to because we're too busy doing a lot of this manual process that's just time consuming and redundant. Why do you think the dental industry has been so slow to adopt technology or so slow maybe to adopt is the wrong word, but just it seems like we're just now talking about tech stacks and different things that people need to do to be able to grow, specifically at this event around marketing. What's kind of been the thing dragging this behind or slowing this development down? That's a good question. I surround myself a lot with early adopters, right? So if we were to talk about what is the delay for these early adopters, I think the reason, though, is that it's just pure overwhelm, right? They're being inundated with so many different new technologies and so many options within these new technologies that they just don't have time to really look into it in order to figure out, hey, is this going to be beneficial for my company or not? And that's why I think that these events are so crucial is because it shortcuts a lot of that research because you're able to say to somebody, hey, you've done this, you figured out what's best for you, just shortcut it for me so I don't have to go through that same thing. Yeah, that's that's a great point. Any other topics that you want to make sure that people understand what's going to be at this event and why it's important that they attend? I think that we used to hear a ton about AI six months to a year ago. The reality is, is AI is not gone. There's a lot of use cases in dental that people are using it for in exciting ways too, as part of that technology tech stack. So definitely kind of come in and look forward to that because I think that'll be a huge topic as well. That's awesome. As always, I'm super excited to do anything with Tanner. Tanner is my tech guy, my go-to person when I have a question about, hey, how should this be built out? He's done this for several other people. He's done this for our other events as well. So Tanner, thank you so much for being a part of it. Awesome. Really looking forward to it, Gary. Thank you. Bye-bye.